Hey guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting reading to episode 6 of season 3 of Don Machi. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, like, <laughs> all four of these videos, I'm gonna have to put a comment explaining what the heck happened today. Are we sure this is Don Machi? This ain't Goblin Slayer, is it? I, I mean, I'm joking about that, though. But, um... Okay. We, we not gonna... We not gonna talk about that for uh, uh, hello. Are we serious? We're not gonna talk about that. Like, <laughs> we're not gonna talk about that. I mean, uh, okay, all right. Um, we just gonna go. Okay, I, I mean. Oh, God. I mean, you know what I'm praying for today? That Bell just finds Weenie. That's all. I, I will. I pray. I've been praying about that ever since last week. Find this child and we're going back home. That's it. He did that last year with Hado. Best girl, Hado Hime. So, bring Weenie home. Bring Weenie, aka Fido's VA, home. That's all. So that she can be a part of. Do, do we even call this a harm? Because. This isn't really a harm. The only one who's really... No, technically. Let me take that back real quick. There's only two people. Two. Right now. Who are in love with Belle. That's Hestia because you know Hestia is the best freaking girl. And I still love her no matter what. And that is Wiene. Wiene is the second best girl as well. But Lily ain't in love with him. I, I kind of assumed when I did like a reaction on season one. I, I thought like every girl in this show would have fallen in love with him because... It's just Belle, and he just, he's a lovable character. I mean, <laughs> he makes me laugh too fucking much. He's just gonna straight up kill him. Excuse me. Might as well just stay up all night tonight. It's the only way that I'm going to be able to get all four of these shows uploaded. Because I felt like I'm going to get done to like... Six, maybe? Is it bad that I just kind of want him to journey off on his own? But if he does, it's going to cause suspicion. I mean, shit, like a manga sus. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. Let him 
can't explain. It's just all a misunderstanding. He's really just coming to check on Wiene. But if he just came regular, I mean, shit would have went down. Oh, damn unicorn. Poor thing. You see, if Wiener would have just stayed the fuck with Bill, none of this would have happened, but no. I get it. It's because you're angry, and not only assuming that you're a monster, but you're angry. I'd be angry too. The one time my other best girl wants to come in and just like fuck shit up, like no, like damn. Excuse me. You know what, let me say this, like, the one thing that I love about Belle is that he cares a lot, and not to say that that's a bad thing, because it's not, it's a really good thing and a really good quality, because not many IRL people have that quality, um, and he, he kind of thinks of others before he thinks about himself, and so no matter what, he's always going to go into battle or danger, really, for anyone, despite who it is. Sometimes it can be a little rash, and sometimes you, you just want to smack the ever-loving crap out of him. But it's okay. He's just lovable. There may be a door or something near her. Are you going to throw it? Oh! 
Okay. Uh, um. All right. Oh, okay. Plus, so that's how you say Ori Calcum, because Kingdom Hearts, man. <laughs> Like, ever since I played that damn game since I was little, I could never pronounce that word. I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> so, when I was a kid, I used to just call it Blue Wing Thing. <laughs> this is stupid! <laughs> You know, no, let me strike that. It, it ain't two, it's three. Because Haru definitely has some feelings. For Belle, I mean... I don't know, because there are times where I feel like Haru kind of goes both ways, but... Of course. Excuse me. Yeah, but aren't they just gonna run into Belle? Mm. Never mind. And we know should be in there as well. I mean, don't be so loud. I mean, if they hear you, I mean, come on, let's be a little smart about this. Fucking took her. Sugar, honey, I see mother.
You know, Bell. Bell's gonna automatically come no matter what. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Excuse me. My thing is, how did What's Her Face know that that was going to open? I mean, unless somebody told her. A little suspicious. I mean, can't trust everybody in an anime, you know? Of course not, right? Are you serious? Shouldn't do that. God, they're gonna die. Like, oh.
Oh, fuck, no. No! Of course, and now they're attacking each other and they just don't know. So that's why you wanted them behind you. They might end up killing each other. Because, of course, I mean, they're not going to have themselves do the work. I get that. So they're going to have all the monsters, the Xenos, kill each other. And they, oh, fuck. shit if you're level 5? Like, damn. Who care about that? Like, hmm. You just have to try. I mean. Save my baby, please. Bring her home. We gonna end like that, aren't you? Aren't you? You okay? Oh, thank God, cause I was about to say, huh? Minotaur. I mean, it would have been better to end on Bell going against Do, but y'all wouldn't end on that. You know what? Okay, okay. I mean. I ain't mad at it, but, uh, yeah, I mean, that is a weird way to end the episode, but y'all do you. That, that's what y'all gotta do right at the end of the day. Um, <laughs> oh, God, I mean, shit, I don't know what to say about this. Like, I kind of wish Rue and What's Her Face went with Belle as well, but I get the fact that, you know, and I'm gonna say this once again, Belle is hard-headed. Just like another certain boy who was sometimes hard-headed as well. In the beginning he was. He's not as hard-headed as before. Not as now. I mean, you know, they did like, what, 50-something episodes for him and everything. But, yeah, he ain't as hard-headed as a certain, you know, black-haired boy. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I get the fact is that, you know, and, and I've seen this with so many other, like, I'll say it more with, like, males, because I haven't seen a female anime character that is like this. Maybe one day they'll finally do it with a girl, like, doing like this and shit. That is very... There's no I in team. I want to do this by myself. I don't need help, but sometimes, like, Belle does want the help. And I'm glad he wants that, because there's nothing wrong with getting fucking help when you need help. So get the damn help. Take the damn help. I mean, shit, like, damn, if we gonna take, like, a freaking... If it's, like... Who wants to be a millionaire and someone says you want to use your lifeline? Use that lifeline like it's nobody's business, even though you can only use it once, which sucks. But, I mean... <laughs> I, I just want him... Because... Mm, God, how do I word this? He He's very much like... He, he kind of reminds me of this, like, I think a little bit of Ichigo. He, he's not, like, I would say maybe season one, season two, but not really now. He's still more of, like, yeah, I want to work with everybody as a team. But there were times where Belle did give me those major Ichigo vibes where Ichigo would be like, fuck it, I, I don't want you. I want to do this on my own. Where it's almost like you have something to prove in a way. And I get that because there are other male protagonists who are like that and who are, like, I need to do this on my own, not only to prove to eventually, you know, your freaking wafu and everyone else, but also to yourself that, like, yes, I can do this. But still, I like I said, I really wish that, you know, everybody else who was there went with him because, I mean, you got what's your face of the freaking Zanos and she's protecting the rest of the Zanos. So still at the end of the day, Belle is on his own. I mean, unless somebody... <laughs> Is secretly 
like, you know, also literally getting ready to come at the door besides the rabbit and, and the Minotaur looking dude. Yeah, besides them. we. But, I mean, they don't really count because, I, I mean, well, yeah, they do. They do. Honestly, at the end of the day, they do count. But I was expecting, like, well, can Hesia, yeah, Hesia can kind of kick some ass. I mean... Ish. Um, I, I was expecting like a lot of people to just come and help her because it's Belle and Belle has helped so many people from season one to even now. So it, it may, I mean, cause like the, the things that we did in season two for Haruhime, I'm like, I'm waiting for that for Wiene because Wiene is such an adorable freaking character besides Lily and I love Weenie so damn much, and so she deserves the damn world. So, I mean, yeah. It, it may not happen now, but, like, maybe in a couple episodes, possibly. But, I mean, it was a good episode. I, I liked it for what it was. I'm just, like, that that ending. <laughs> that ending is the only thing I have a problem with, because I think if they would have ended with that little shot of them about to duke it out, and them, like, right up against each other and ish, if they would have ended, we would, I would have been pissed, but I would have been okay with it. But... Them ending the way it did, you're like, that could have been something after the credits. How, like, last week's, um, Irregular Magical High, uh, no, not Magical, Magic High School did with the after credits episode and ish, in which, in my opinion, they should not have released that because there's currently, like, a traitor among them and ish like that. And I think if they didn't release that little bit towards the end of that episode, I, I w- it would have been better, like, just to guess around, like, who could have been the traitor and it's like that, and, yeah, but we'll see. Maybe after this girl dies, I don't know. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 6 of season 3 of Don Machi. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matcha Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday, for real, I mean it, for episode 7. Bye, guys.